I'm Jeff. I'm glad to see you today. Hope we can do some yoga practice together in such a beautiful sunny day. I hope you are home, stay home, and stay healthy. As Chinese said, no matter what outside world changing, that we change for the season, and now we change for what we need to stay safe. But inside, in our core, in our center, in our mind, you are staying healthy and happy. So let's get started. I hope you find a place that you call home. It's safe. So you sit very easy and sit comfortable. I just cross my legs. But if you don't feel that is comfortable for you, just raise your legs up. Bend your knees if that feel better. Just make you feel with your knee a little lower than your here that you have the foundation that support your spine. And you feel the easiness that called yoga easy pose. You can rest your arms just on top of your lap, any part that's comfortable for you. Palms can face you downward or facing the palms upward. Whichever you feel is comfortable and happy. So now bring your wellness to sense that breath you're taking in. That's nice and slow breathing sound like this. So we slowly open your mouth. And when you inhale, close your mouth and breathe into your nose. Exhale, slowly, slowly to your mouth. Close your mouth, inhale. We focus our breath and we are uh, disturbed by the outside wind, which is what the mind keeps us spinning around. We more sense how we center our mind feel. So your yoga practice may be the pose to look different from one body type to another body type, but you are all feeling good. So now, so you raise your hands back on your heart, pause, breathe. So nice deep breath and breathe in to feel the into your lungs, into your heart. Then can separate your hands on to the side. Then you draw your thumb just on your armpit. Exhaling, so draw the palm together. Let it go. Right into your center. Inhaling. Your tongue to rest in the upper part of your mouth. So you can feel the cool air sleep breathing. Right to your nostrils. Breathe into your breath, into your lungs with a freshness. Breathe in. Let the shoulder to drop and relax. And exhale. You can have to put your arms over your head. You can rest in the point of your back. So eventually you may sweep your right arms. So rest by side your right ear. Maybe that happened today. Totally fine. Okay, right finger, point your back, and just feel the whole lens lines on your side of your rear. And as you look at your right arm down, you change your side. Inhale, bring the left arm over your head, point the left finger to your back. Eventually, you just shrink your left arm and rest the left arm by the side of your left ear. And so let it go. Inhale, draw the arms over your head. And bend your right elbow to rest the right hand on top of your left ear. And exhale, so you load your head over to your right. Continue, let it, ah, let go. Inhale, let's so bring your head back up toward the center. Rest your hands on the crown of your head and turn, look into your right arm head. Or you might look the spine right behind you. 
you have to come back looking forward. Exhale, load your arms by your side. You know, put the left arms over your head. And bend your left elbows and rest your left hand on top of your right ear. Exhale, you let your head slowly lower over to your left shoulder. So looking in the front, and just let the side of your neck further relax. You can also draw your head back up to the ceiling. And rest your head, your hands on the part of your head. You turn it looking over to your left armpit. And here, spot behind you. You now sort of come back looking forward. Exhale, so you look in the arm from. This days, we may look a lot in front, TV, or in the computers. So let's do one more round. This time, we add a little bit more if you could. Okay? So you inhale, the rubs over your head, rest the right hand on top of your left ear, and then when you load your head over to your right shoulder, Keep the left arm extending over to your left, like you have the gravity. Take your left arm down, and take your right, your head over to your right shoulder. And take this bit, ah. You are coming back to center, and change the side. The left arm over your head, and rest the left hand on top of your right ear. And spin the arms out, and feel the gravity. Just draw the right arm down, and lower your head over to your left. Surrendering to the gravity and let the sense of the right side of your neck that relax and relax. Now, open it, wake you up. Inhale and bring your head back up for the soon. Exhale, let your left arm down. Inhale and draw the arms forward. In place your fingers and turn your palms forward. Now, open into your shoulder breath. Breathing and draw the arms over your head and feel. Tuck your chin in, so through your root chakra, so you're suitable into this palm, facing out towards the ceiling, root to root up high. Exhale, and just let your arms open to the sides, and draw your finger, your arm behind you, so you can interlace your finger, breathe in, and sense your shoulder breath close and close your spine. Breathe in and exhale, draw the arms up, away from your butt. One more time, inhale, draw your chest forward. Exhale, draw the arms up. And then release the arms on top of the knees. You do the sitting cat and cow pose. So the breathing, you feel the breathing into your root and reach, you reach yourself up. Sense it right into your lungs, your heart. Relax your shoulders down, draw your chest forward. Exhale and feel just that your belly button down and looking down to the belly button, round your back. I will see somewhere so you can see baby see much better on the side of you. Okay, so you have to draw your chest forward. Exhale and slowly round your spine. So the empty piece is out. Inhale and feel forward into your chest. Exhale and let go. the land of your spine. Continue. Breathe in. And then exhale. Inhale. And the next exhale is leaning forward. So just walk your arms. Continue walking forward. Walking forward. And feel the whole legs. So do it both inside the breath. Reach out the fingertip, reach to your spine, see the ball stay on the mat, and come in leaning forward. Once you rest your forehead into your mat, you can bring your arms by your side. You have your forehead mat to rest up your mat. Bend your elbows, make with pillows for your forehead to rest. And ready to come out and bring yourself coming up. Using the hand to support the mass of your spine. So when you're ready, so bring yourself coming onto all four. So on your, your hands and your knees. Your fingers will separate. 
and you want to hear so far, your arms about so squeeze apart so your knees about here squeeze apart knee just about doing knee here so you can and can pose now breathe in and feel to draw your chest forward and look in your third eye exhaling so let it go looking down to your navel love between your legs Inhaling, rest your toes in upper part of your mouth so you can feel that whole channel of your breath. And exhaling, we do three rounds. So this will be your last round. Inhale, and exhale. So practicing a little bit into the balance. So come on, you're all four. When you're ready, extending your run at your back. Just keep your run is on the mat, or you'll be like when your run is off the mat. But keep your hip in the same height. Point the right toes point down. And extend the left arm forward. And feel the left in the tip to your right heel. The whole length of your spine. Exhaling, so let go. Put your right knees into your chest. Now we do two more rounds. Inhale, you stand the right your back, put the left arm to forward, exhaling, right knees into your chest. One more round. Inhale, then exhale. You're ready to reload your right knee down to your mat. Then bring the left elbows, left arm just underneath the right armpit, like the needle. Let go, you let go until you rise left shoulder into your mat and then relax your hip up to the ceiling. You can use the hand to support, you can even use the palm against your palm and reach a little more into the row to your back of your head, into the toys. We're ready to come out using the rock and you find your face as the doors are coming back. Then we change the side. You have stand the left leg to your back. You can feel the extending. Now you can stay right here, or you can put the left leg off the mat. Just keep the hip the same height. So keep the balance and then draw the right arms over in the front. Exhaling, so draw the left knees into your chest. Hold the left knees in. In the extending arms, and spin the legs out. Exhaling, draw the knee to your chest. Inhale, and exhale. It's ready, so we load the left knees down to your mat, and bring the right arm underneath the left arm here, like right through the needle, until you rest the right shoulder into your mat. Then using the left hand, or your palm together, and then draw the rest into the back of your head. Can you leave it here? Into the twist. For the relaxing support into your shoulder. And come up with the left hand in front of your face. And so when you start coming up, you turn your toes underneath, we'll do the down dog. So bring the knees off the mat. And draw your chest, pull your thighs, looking into your navel. And so we straight your legs, so keep them top your tip your toes. And so we load your right heel down to your mat. And then load your left heel down to your mat. For the lift in the hip as high as it's comfortable for you today. And so we do it like bicycle. Bend your right knee. When you try to draw the right thighs into your chest, and so we lower your right heel down. When you straight the right leg and feel the openness on the back of your right leg, bend your left knee. Just like your bicycle. So we do this bicycle side to side, side to side. We reach your hip a little bit higher and to draw the shoulder moving away from your head. And 
and then ready to load the both of heels down to your mat. Relax your face. A down dog is a restoring pose. You feel the relaxing. You cross your head toward your mat. Your eyes three pieces on your navel. And ready to come out, so you walk your feet toward your hands. And just let you hanging down the right dog. The whole upper body relax. Your face muscles, your jaw, and the wrinkles in your face. So just let it relax. Like the whole upper body try to hug it into your legs. And come out. Release your hands from your elbows. And to be roll yourself coming up. One vertebra by one vertebra. And you have come out your standing pose to rest your hands back on your heart. Okay. So we do the sound salutations here. Okay. So inhale, draw the arms over your head into mountain pose. Exhaling to the into standing forward. So we lower, bend your knees and then sort of folding your whole upper body into your legs. And standing forward. Take a nice deep breath, throw the arms over your head into mountain pose. Exhaling, arms back on your heart in, in the samadhi, standing pose. We do one more round. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhaling, in, standing forward, forward. Inhale, coming up into mountain pose. Exhaling, in, samadhi, standing pose. We add another pose here. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, into forward, forward. Inhale, open some of your side and join the arms forward into chair pose. Put the weight into your heels, lifting your chest, looking forward between your thumbs. Exhale, folding forward. And inhale, so bring yourself coming up into mountain pose. Exhaling hands back on your heart in standing pose. Let's try one more time. Inhale into Tadasana mountain pose. Exhaling into forward fold. Inhale, come out into your chair pose. Exhaling into forward fold. Breathing coming up into mountain pose. Exhaling into Samadhi. We we'll continue into our lounge pose. Inhale, arms over your head into mountain pose. Exhaling, letting go into skin forward, forward. Inhale, come out into chair pose. Exhaling, raise your hands right from your toes and bring the right into your back. You can not do right knees down or you can bring the right off the mat into your lounge pose. So breathing into your lounge pose, arms over your head. And exhaling, folding forward. Bring your left leg to meet your left foot to meet your right foot. Okay. Shoulder about your wrist. Begin to look forward. Draw the chest forward as your plank. Look in the third line. Lifting your chest. Then exhale as you load your knees down to your mat. Load your elbows on the mat. And then lean in forward with your chins into your mat. And then draw the chest to a lamp pose. You feel the A point. Then straight your leg to your back. Open the arms off to your side. Keep elbows point toward your back. So you can help for the lift in the chest. For the ground here, with the top of your thighs and your hips. Coming up in your cobra. Exhale, slow the chest down to your mat. Rest your hands just under your shoulder. Turn your toes on the knee. You know, come out in all four. Then exhaling into your down dog. Look into your navel and draw the knees off the mat. Relax your shoulders. And inhale, come out on your knees. Or just keep the knee and legs off the mat. Breathing, come out into your lounge pose. Draw your arms over your head. Exhale, leaning forward. With your left foot to meet your right foot. 
Bridges are in steaming full forward. Inhaling into mountain pose. Arms over your head. Exhale, hands back on your heart. Let's try the other side. Inhale, arms over your head in mountain pose. Exhale, into standing forward. forward. Inhale, come out into your chair pose. Exhale, into forward. forward. And so bring the lung to your back. Come out into your lunge pose. Breathe in. Or you can come out the high lunge. Exhale, and lean you forward. Bring your right foot to meet your left foot. Inhale into your plank. Roll the shoulder to your back and lift in your chest. Exhale in the A lane pose. Knees down to your mat. Elbow down to your mat. Chins and the chest down to your mat. Relax and lift the hips in the sky. And so bring your leg to your back and rise your forehead down to your mat. Hands to your side. Breathe in. Come out into cobra. Just roll the shoulder to your back and rise in your spine. Exhaling, rise your chest down to your mat. Hands under your shoulder, elbow to your side, turn your toes underneath. You know, come out of all four. Now bring your right foot between your hands. You know, draw your arms over your head, come out into a long pose. Again, you can come out your high lunge or you can stand your low lunge. Exhaling, leaning forward with the left foot in your right foot. Raise your side, spinning full forward. You know, throw the arms over your head, come out into modern pose. Exhale, raise your face back on your heart. And we do the next round into the queen and the moon salutations. So, when you're free to separate, slowly, just about his width apart. And again, have draw the arms over your head. Exhale, so you lean over to your left. And you now coming back to center. Exhale, lean to the other side. And do one more round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, let it go. And bring your arms back. Press your hands back on your head. You draw your hand on top of you, relax your shoulders down. And then spread your legs wide to take a big step. Walk your legs wider. And then turn your feet out to your side. Okay. So you turn the right foot over to your right. And you feel, you just let yourself leaning over to your right, leaning over to your right. Bend your right knee. And change your side. Turn your right foot in. Turn the left foot out. And just lean over to your left and sort of bend your left knee, leading to your left side. And we do find a side to side. You start moving a little bit more, getting a little bit further down, then more further down a little bit more. Okay. Now you feel ready, you can even go all the way down, you feel comfortable. Just kind of moving and walking in the step by step. And ready, so bring yourself coming up. Just keep the knee pulling toward your toes. Okay. Raise yourself and straight your arms, straight your legs. Draw your arms over your head, like a big star. And breathe in, draw your elbows just by your side, and then bend your knees. Feel your jaw and shoulder just lift high, from high to low. From this high to low, then not forward or backward. We just do this. Breathe this out, breathe in. So we'll stay right about this. The high that's comfortable for you. Okay. But don't have to lean too far, far away so we become leaning forward. Just see any comfortable you feel, just let us sit you down. And brace this out. And brace it in. A goddess pose. Brace this out, shoot the legs. And 
you blow your arms to the side. Yeah. We add one more pose here. And we add a legal of arms here. So cross your elbows. You can rest your hands on top of your shoulder. You can put your hands back to back. Or you can put the palm facing each other. And then inhale and draw your arms up. Squat down, breathe in. Can remember to breathe. Then exhale, let it go. And then you're ready to change the side. One was on the top, become the bottom. Again, you can just rest your hand on the shoulders or put the palms back to back or the palms facing each other. So you have to draw the arms up. Squat down, keep up, breathe. Breathe in, easy. Exhale, and let go. And relax. Now, so you turn your toes in. Just slightly, you don't have to turn a lot. So here on top of your heel, this is spot where we folding forward. So from the top of your heel, so draw the heel to your back. So slide folding forward. And keep our back straight. And raise your hands on your mat. Then you point to each other. So breathe in, looking forward, look in your third eye. Exhale, and bend your elbows and folding forward. Relax your hips a little higher in the sky. And just let your neck, your face relax. Inhale through your arms. Then exhale and bend your elbows and let them go. Relax. Inhale, coming up. Take your arms. Now do the twist. Keep the left hands on the mat. Then you point over to your right. And then draw the arms over to your right. Breathe in. And breathe in. So load your right arms down. Pull the finger over to your left. It happened and left arms over to your left. Excellent to so the left arms. This also helps our wrist, which normally we don't put that angle. So do one more round. Inhale, draw the arms up. Excellent, load your arms down. And put a twist through your whole body. Excellent, load your left arms down. And so you bring your arms over your back, just on your, um, down your butt. Then you have to straight your arms to your back and lift up halfway. Exhale, just let yourself fold you forward. And then your arms can flip over your head. And ready to come out, release your hands on top of your hip. Inhale, bring yourself coming up. And that is saying, we do the warrior. This warrior to you today. So turn the left foot out, point to the end of your leg. Now we stay on this same plank here. Just bend your left knee toward the left toes, and you draw the top of your thigh, the inner thigh. Then I open and you draw the heel out to this side. Okay. And here's your left knee, just about your left ankle. Okay. Then raise your hands back on your heart. You now open some of your side and looking over to your left finger here. Yeah, looking out to your left. And draw the arm across the ceilings and bring the left arm across over your heart. This is the time that we smell the outbreak. We really need to feel the openness of our heart. Just have more empathy and compassion for each other. So relax and open your heart to the open your right elbows and open your heart over to your right. Okay. And so the lean to left elbows on top of your left knee and then draw the arms over your head. If that's comfortable for you, looking up toward the ceiling. It's just an option. And you inhale to draw the arms across the ceiling and load the arms rest on top of your right leg. Turn the back foot in. And then we change the side. Turn to right foot. Point the end of your mat and stay, stay on the same plank. Okay. And so the bend your right knee to find the openness to your thigh, bend your right knee until your right knee just above your right ankle. You may need to walk a little bit wider, you may get closer, but you adjust what is comfortable for you. You have a point down just like you're sitting down. Okay. 
Then rest your hands back on your heart. Yeah. Now open some out to the side. Then looking over to your right and here, your right arm. So with the left arm cross your ceiling and let the left arm cross your chest. Now open as your heart. Look a little bit further out. Then slowly load your right elbows on top of your right knee. And the left arm to over your head. And just standing, standing. You can look at the ceiling, whatever you like, or just looking in the front. Exit from the left arm across the ceiling. And so you should do right leg. Can you wrap it again? Or just walking close. You don't have to walk really close. We're going to squat down. So just slowly raise your hands on your shoulder. And just like yourself, slowly squat down. Squat down. Then bring your elbow inside your knees. Using the elbow to open the knees a little bit wider. Rest your hands down your heart. Open your man pants. You feel the lid in your chest, in your, in your heart, like in your brain. And imagine your spine. This is what my man has. A graceful, nice, in the spine. You can raise the lower your hands. Unpack your ankle. You can let yourself come and sit down and draw your feet together. Turn using a yoga grip. So your index and your middle finger is just holding between your three toes and your second toe. Then using your thumbs, holding on top of your ring finger like a hook. So then you have it lifting that, lifting your chest forward and just let the knee that open to the sides. And then you let the knees to open that lifting your chest. Exhale, let the knees to open to the side. So feel the spine is growing taller and more lengthening. Now when you're ready, so you lean you forward. We can just keep the sitting pose. So inhale and sense your chest going forward. Exhale, just let it rest. Rest your elbows in front of shins. And let your chest rest on top of your feet. Like this is like work open to you to rest. When you're ready to come out, to draw your chest up, then off your feet. Now you're coming back in sitting position. And you're ready to come out to do a little bit into our um, sitting. So we're going to do this set in the bowl. So I Put it sideways here. Okay. So, so I draw your knees again until you lean right on your back over right here. Okay. So draw the left foot off the mat, draw one foot at a time. Okay. Now you can stay right here or you can put your legs out. So we do like palm facing down, like the paddling, paddling, and paddling down, paddling down. Ready to draw your knees back okay. and straight to rise out. Now hold the left knees into your chest. So feel your thighs and your chest kind of rising. Then bring the hands holding your legs so you can hold any part. Okay. Inhale, straight your left legs out. And feel how the whole weight of your left leg rest into your hand, let's support your hand. We'll be using the strap, you feel the same, just feel that complete rest of your left leg, that back of your left leg that opens. You may feel you want to give a, a little bit of massage if you like. Okay. And you know, lifting your chest, and you feel the contact and connection between your arms and your legs. Exhale, so we draw that left leg a little bit higher toward your face. Okay. So keep your arms straight, Inhale, then exhale. It's ready, so we bend the left knee. 
And using that left hand, so draw that left hand a little bit more to the left. Like when we sit, we try to bring the knee lower than the here. Okay. So we try to bring the left foot a little bit higher than the left knee. Then so we let's rest. You may rest the left foot on top of your belly. Any part that is comfortable for you. Don't have to go that cold to your groin. You may rest here. Okay. Get yourself comfortable. That's why you do your back. Feel comfortable. Okay. So you have draw your arms over your head. Exhale, so lean you forward. And then you feel the legs your spine. Feel your breath. So you breathe in, feel for your side. For the lengthening and extending. And inhale. And then exhale, the lengthening, relax. Inhale, so bring yourself all the way up. Exhale, and load your arm to your side. And if you're ready, we change the side. Draw the right knees into your chest. Hold the right knees close to your chest so your, thigh, your spine is going more straight. And using the hands to support your right legs on you know, your feet or on your ankle. And you now straight the right legs out. Exhale, enjoy the run right toward your face. Okay. Just step around the breath, just on your own. Feel the in and out of your breath. And then extending, lengthening, and feel the leg go. Then when you're ready, bend to running. And using the right hand, just lower to running. Relax, relax. And just rock side to side. So just let the knees be extending a little bit lower than the left leg. So when you rest your right foot on top of your left knee, make it comfortable. Just relax, relax. Okay. Inhale, draw the arms over your head. Exhale, it's going to lean you forward. Just keep your Breathe in, nice and reach like you try to reach the big toe. Exhaling, leg down. Then inhale, this time, draw yourself all the way up. Exhaling, bring your hands back to the side. And bring both legs straight forward. Breathing, draw your arms over your head. Exhaling, so twist, leaning forward. Inhale, draw your arms up. Exhale, rest on this side. If you twist, I'll show. Sitting this way. Okay. So, you put one leg forward, you can just stay on where you work. Okay. Bring the other foot. You can be inside or you can rest outside. Just keep the feet to rest down to your so the knee can be easier. Facing up, curl to your spine. Okay. Then using the Opposite side of the arm, bend your legs to hold the knees into your chest. So you can sit up right, then exhale and sit twice over to your right. We have some coming back, looking forward, and we change the side. Draw the left knees into your chest. Again, you can put it inside, go in red leg, or the outside of the red leg. So keep the Feet onto your mat. Okay. So bring the right elbow to hold the left knee into your chest. Bring the left arm to your back and just sort of twist over to your left. And then as we come back looking forward, do this. Now sort of bring yourself coming back. And so sort of lower yourself on your back. And bend your feet a little bit closer, walking close to your butt, close to your sitting bones. Now keep your feet separate about just ways apart, with palms facing down. So the inhale, you feel draw your hips off the mat. Sense your knees point toward your toes when you're lifting your hips off the mat. Then lift your chest toward your chin, toward your breastbone toward your chin. 
and lengthen into your neck by drop your chin toward your breath well. And exhale and slowly lower the spine. Just one bullet bar by one bullet bar. To lower the spine back on the mat. Like keep practicing one more round. You know, come on into your bridge pose. Draw your chest to pull your, your breastbone, pull your chin. Your chin drop, pull your breastbone. Lengthen into your neck. And exhaling, so we lower the spine. Back on the mat. Feel a complete rest of you here. And you're ready, so draw both knees into your chest. We'll come to balance what we did earlier. Okay. Inhale, sending both knees away from your chest. You feel that tilt your pelvis for you. You have a space to bring the arms under your, your lower back. By exhaling, feel the complete flat, your body and your lower back. So, you know, sending both knees away from your chest. Exhaling through the knees into your chest. And so you load your face back on the mat, but this time walk your face really all to the side. Almost the outside edge of your mat. And you have the windshield wiper. So you just lower the one knee. The right knee is lower towards the left foot. You rest on by your side so you can feel the shoulder stay on the mat. And just keep the right knee lower down towards your left foot. And then change side. Draw the right knees up to the ceiling and lower your left knee towards the right foot. Now we just do side to side, several rounds. And keep our shoulders stay on the mat. Since there's no tensions at all. So we'll just let the gravity to let it flowing down and down to the knees and your openness of your hip and then chewing without any any extra effort. Yoga is about getting you feel comfortable, getting you to more aware of each breath. Because our body is for different types, we don't look the same. The pose is not supposed to look the same. Now we press it into the full windshield wiper. So lower both knees together on the same side and draw to the other side. Now you can continue to walk your heel closer to your butt. Then you can go a little bit more into the pose. If that's still right to you, but if you feel you need to go the other way, walk your face out. Okay. So you are the coach, your body, but not me. You, you know your body much better than me. So listen to your body. So you know how far it's for you to go. You can have to draw both knees up to the ceiling. So your feet still separate wide. Just sort of draw your knee together and rest your hands on your lower belly. When you brace yourself, feel the sending your belly button down your spine. The whole your back, your, your butt, is all flat into your mat. And the shoulder and the whole body. Okay. On the inhale, try to squeeze your knee to feel you can feel your pelvis flow pull your shoulder so your lower back that have that space underneath. Right? So you feel that whole space here. Then exhale, just let it go. Relax, relax. And do this several rounds. And inhale. And then exhale. And just continue. You will lengthen, so lengthen your breath. And you feel it breathes out and out a little bit more. A little bit longer. And then naturally, your inhale will be longer too. So your inhale and your exhale will always try to balance equals length. 
And when we come into the equalness of the breath, then you feel how much feel balanced. That we're not taking more than we're giving and we're not giving more than we have with them. It's the balancing. And the balance you feel more harmony. You feel more peace. Feel the kindness, the peaceful sensation, the calm and the peace sensation. Your tongue still rest and up open your mouth. You feel the whole chain of your whole body in the breath. And when you're ready, you slowly load your arms to your side and slowly lower straight your brothers up and just let your left leg straight up. And we're just let your feet fall to the side with palms facing up, more sense how you feel. Then receiving a beautiful day like this, you may feel that you're receiving this healing energy, receiving the energies into you. Now close your eyes. And just sense how you feel around your toes. You feel around your toes. And your toes to relax. You can feel the space between your toes. Sense how you feel around your ankle. And just let your ankles area relax the joint. Then you direct your attention to how you feel around your shins and your calf muscles. And just let them relax. <coughs> now when you feel around your hip, then relax into your symbols. Sense of support, you can see the bones. Yes. Underneath your whole body, your body has a whole support. You have to start to sit into that support. Relax with this support. Sense inside your chest cavity. All your organs are functioning and healthy. You know, bring your awareness to feel around your shoulders. How you feel around your shoulders is relaxed. When your shoulders rest on your neck, they are totally relaxed. And let a relaxation from your shoulders to your arms, to your elbows and your wrists, and down to your fingers here. And your hands, just let it go off, rest on the table. No effort at all. Simply and comfortably relax. Start to work it out. And you can feel the vibration, the pulse on your breath. Now feel your back of your head. You're like you slip on the pillows, let your head rest. What we feel now here. Then we can feel the awakening, the sensation, the feeling. But without a thinking, we really grasp on this moment. Let that breathe in the moment of the inhale. Just feel the moment of the exhale. And feel the changes between the inhale 
And then exhale. You can feel when you breathe, you can feel the pose. At the end, you inhale. And when you breathe, you out. You can feel the power. At the end, you exhale. Sense the breath into your nostrils, into your throat. Sense the relaxed and soothes the wrinkles of your forehead. You can relax your eyes. You also relax your lips. You sense it gently across your upper lip. Touch your lower lip with somebody kissing you. You feel your jaws relax. It senses the whole body, the whole of you, your spirit body, the physical body, the emotional body. They are feeling calm. They are feeling good. They are healthy. That's just the way they should be. And we stay with this sensation. You can focus on the back. And you can stay here as long as you like. For now, this will draw the knees into your chest. And so draw the rounds over your head and so you load yourself over to your right. Feeling refreshed, feeling good, feeling awake, in the light. So using the hands and so bring yourself come up a sitting position. Sit is in the easy pose, then you start it. Maybe you should close your eyes and feel how I'm feeling now and how I feel compared with how I just started practicing. I want to send a gratitude to myself for the effort to practice today. And I want to do this practice. And keep practicing every day. And I want to thank you for practicing with me because together we can make our world a better place. So rest your hands back on your head. Come together. Sense you and thank for the teachers in front of, in front of me. Invite the teachers into you. Guide us through the character. Guide us through our daily life. Because yoga is not just on the mat. The price of yoga is in the daily life. So when you're ready to wrap around your heart, Enjoy the big smile to your face. And exhale. Ah, let it go. And thank you for practicing.